Today we're talking the Fed, mortgage rates, and all the questions you have about where we're headed in 2024. Let's get started. Hi, I'm Jeff Abel with Signature Home Team, and we are here in beautiful Estes Park, Colorado today. And we have with us Harriet Woodard from Bank of Colorado. Harriet is our preferred lender and has been in the mortgage industry for over 20 years. And today we're gonna to ask her a few questions about kind of projections and where we think the market might be heading in 2024. You ready? I'm ready. So mortgage rates. Talk to me about where you think those might be headed in 2024, because that's what everybody is really wanting to know. Absolutely. So unless there are some significant world events, it's likely that we'll see lower rates in 2024, setting up for even a lower rate period into 2025. Um, last year, we hit a peak of 8%, <laughs> which slowed things down quite a bit. And economic projections this year are anywhere between four and 7%. But the consensus is that for most of 24, we will be mid fives to high sixes. And that should unlock a lot of move up buyers. So projections are really difficult and certainly the timing of when things might happen. But what we can do is look at trends in economic data that will likely move mortgage rates in the next year. And those are what the Federal Reserve is going to do, inflation, and the 10-year Treasury. So you mentioned the Fed, and my understanding is the Fed doesn't affect interest rates directly. That's absolutely correct. So the Fed doesn't impact mortgage rates directly. What it affects is short-term rates. So HELOCs, credit cards, um, consumer loans and business loans. However, what does impact the movement of mortgage rates is how the market perceives Fed actions. So when Powell said that he was gonna cut the Fed rate at least three times this next year, the market reacted really positively to that. And that's when we saw that rate dip in December. Okay. Um, and up until last week, <laughs> um, this past week, when they had the Fed meeting, everyone thought that would start in March and the market got very exuberant about it and they projected that there are going to be six cuts over the next 18 months. So you mentioned the Fed just met recently. Can you tell us a little bit about what happened at that meeting? Yes, so the Fed did leave the rate unchanged, which is what everybody expected. Um, and they did say that they felt like they reached their peak Fed rate. But <laughs> Powell then added that they wanna wait to cut until they feel confident that they're gonna sustain that 2% inflation rate and that it was highly unlikely that they would cut in March. Um, so the odds makers are still saying that there are going to be cuts starting May um, and that's highly likely. So another big thing that's obviously a factor is inflation and kind of what are you hearing as far as the projections for that for this year? Well, inflation is clearly coming down. We saw it peak at 9% right when the Fed was hiking rates and it's come and their target, as I said, is two and that's multiples of two. So we've come way down. We started this year with core CPI or consumer price index at 4% and then PCE, or personal consumption expenditure, at 3.2%. Um, still above the Fed, 2% is what they're looking for. And that, the PCE, is what is more weighted for the Fed. So what makes this really complicated is that both those inflation numbers, the largest component is shelter. And shelter has a huge lag time because of rents. And additionally, they look at a 12 month rolling average. So they add all the numbers together, you drop out the current month and replace with, you know, a year, the year goes number. And so you're not looking at inflation in real time, even though we know it's going down. And that's why you hear that the Fed has a rear view look. And so, you know, like I said, um, the next couple of months, there are some high numbers that are going to be replaced by what looks to be favorable numbers. Mm -hmm. So I think we will reach that 2% target. Earlier, you had also mentioned the 10-year Treasury, and how does that play in here? Well, that's been really interesting because the 10-year Treasury historically has been 150 basis point spread to the 30-year fixed mortgages. And currently, so that's a, a percent and a half. 
and currently it's at 300 basis point difference. Um, so when we start getting some clear guidance for the, from the Fed, that will um, narrow again, that range should come back and normalize. And so technically, rates right now should be five and a half. And if the 10 year as predicted pulls back even more toward 3% and stay between three and 4%, then um, rates in the fours, mid to high fours are possible within the next 12 to 18 months. Obviously all of these factors affect the housing market, and the interest rate. At what rate do you think people are, that are, are waiting are gonna be ready to jump into the housing market? Rates still need to come down significantly for a lot of the buyers to come back into the market. And the consensus, the magic number is about five and a half. However, when we reach that threshold, it's gonna be very competitive because there is so much pent up demand and inventory still relatively low. So, you know, it's really, as always, if it's the right time for you to buy, go ahead and buy. You can always refinance later. So all of that's really great information for, for all of us. Um, how would you summarize what are the most important things that we, we need to know about what you said heading into 2024 for the rest of the year? Well, there's light at the end of the tunnel. We are moving into a favorable environment where rates are likely to come down. But even if we just stabilized in the mid to low sixes, that will increase affordability for a lot of people. And so it could be a great opportunity. Awesome. Well, I think kind of listening to what Harriet said and, and knowing kind of where the market is, um, if you are looking to buy, the timing is gonna be key because as interest rates come down, Prices are probably going to go up as demand goes up. So I would encourage you to talk to your preferred lender or our preferred lender uh, if you're thinking about buying so you can have a plan in place as those rates start to adjust to get ahead of the market rather than waiting uh, for the tail end of that. So you can take advantage of a low rate and uh, a little bit more inventory to choose from. So thanks for joining us, Harriet. Thank if you have you questions, how can, they, how can they reach out to you? My, I always have my cell phone. It's 970-586-1040. Thank you very much. Thanks for tuning in and we will see you next time. If this was helpful, be sure to like and subscribe as well. Thanks and have a great day. Bye. Bye.